Good evening. Hi. I should say good morning. <laughs> good morning then. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. <laughs> hey. waiting from six o'clock time zones are a bit of a nightmare when everybody's in different countries I'm really sorry if that was you but thank you for um sticking around yay people representing our t-shirts ever loving that thank you I do yeah I'm here I do thank too you. With my, with and a my... mug. yeah okay yeah okay. brilliant Ooh. uh this was this was a suggestion from an artist, um, from a number of artists number actually, of artists, yeah. and so we decided to have some merch this year. Still available if you've not got yours, you can you can hop on over and get some later on. I like Eva's taking long sips of whatever's in her mug. Hey. That's to demonstrate yeah. the logo. <laughs> okay. All okay. the time. It all is time. not beer. It is tea. <laughs> Welcome to the Lacuna Festivals 2021, our third annual international art festival, um, based here in Lanzarote, but with participation this year from 83 countries and 328 artists. So we're really kind of connecting all across the world now, which is amazing. We're so, so thankful to have you all here with us. Um, obviously, we don't have all of the artists in our virtual inauguration um, but we're going to record this and we'll pop it onto the YouTube channel so again I know a few of you who are here have already emailed and said oh I have to go I've got this meeting I can only stay for a bit don't worry you'll, you won't miss out on anything at all we'll pop it on the YouTube channel later so really what we wanted to do tonight was just to use this to give you a little bit of an idea about the things that are happening over the festival um, but also for you to have a look and see where everybody's from and to be able to use a chat function and just to kind of touch base because when there's a month-long um, run of events it's it's kind of hard sometimes to to take it all in so that's what we're going to do um, today hopefully. I'm going to stop talking for a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. Um... So yeah, we've got a number of events that have already been taking place in the build-up to the festival. Um, I know a lot of you have already taken part in some of those events. Um, and there's more events that are going to be happening. All the events that have been taking place and that are going to be taking place have all been suggested by artists from all over the place um, that are taking part this year. A couple of the artists suggested um, events that we did last year and they were really, really successful. And more than one artist suggested doing them again this year. So we've, we've redone a couple of events. On that, I fielded an email question just recently um, about the Collaborate and Connect project. Give us a wave if you're a Collaborate and Connect artist. Oh, a couple of people, a couple of people who are here. Brilliant. Um, so if you were a Collaborate and Connect artist, that project is going to go live 
uh, midway through the festival. I know that you're all really super excited to see what another artist has done with your artwork, but you'll just have to hang on just for a little bit longer. And um, we didn't want to like flood everybody with too much at once. So that's going to launch maybe in about 10 days, something like that. But we'll put up as usual, all of the information on social media and we'll send it around to everybody. So don't, don't worry, you won't miss that. You won't miss seeing what's happened to your work. Sorry to jump in. That's all right. Um, and there are, I'm really looking forward to this going live because there's some artists that took part that have been really challenged with the art form that they were sent. And they have risen to the challenge and some of the finished pieces that we've received back have been absolutely fabulous. Really, really good work has come back this year. Mm, really high quality. Really high quality. So shall we talk about some of the things that we've launched right now? So after this um, lovely inauguration, you can go. This is like the bar bit, isn't it? If this was a physical inauguration, this is us chatting in the bar. It's not the actual inauguration. The actual inauguration is happening um, on our various platforms. And because we are mainly online this year, we've got a number of different platforms for a number of different things. Um, and I've written down a list because we have that many platforms. So I don't want to um, miss anything out. So you've already been following us on Facebook where you'll have seen a lot of the participation projects. Um, and the groups for the particip participation projects happening. We've got our Instagram pages where we're sharing artist profiles who are participating this year. Um, and of our artists, how many have we got? 180, is it-ish sharing on Instagram? On the Instagram, Insta us. Um, yeah, I think it's about 180 artists we've had. Um, which I worked out that if I... <laughs> If I post one a day, because I have to edit all of your images and get them up and get them online. If I do every artist one a day, I think it's mid-September <laughs> I'm going to get through you all, which is really good because it will mean that like, you all get to see each other's work and it will keep on flowing after the festival finishes too. Um, and so they're things that you're, you've already seen. The things that we've launched tonight, um, that's the exciting stuff. So we've got um, our main galleries are hosted on Artsteps, which is this amazing platform online, um, which is like a 3D gallery space. And it's something that's um, free to use, which is obviously really important for us. Um, and I'm going to hand over to Simon to do a little bit of a demo on that. A, walk a little bit of a walk around. So I'm going to get all technical and share my screen on Zoom. This is where it normally starts going wrong. So um, let's see. Hmm. Here we go. Art steps. And sometimes it just takes a couple of seconds to come up. Uh, it looks to me like I'm sharing, who can I see? Odessa, Eber, Romana, can you see a gallery in front of you? Give me a thumbs up if you can. Ah, yes. brilliant, thank you so awesome. much. I can see it, I can see it. Okay, yep. fabulous. So yeah. these are virtual galleries. You can use them um, on your laptop, your desktop, and you can also use them on your mobile device and you can use them with virtual reality headsets as well. So you can navigate yourself around. And you can walk yourself into the gallery. And how are you walking there, Simon? Someone who's never used this program so before. I am just clicking, left clicking on the, on the mouse. Um, and then you just drag your little feet to wherever you want to go. And so go and have a look at this piece over here. Mm -hmm. And all the pieces are interactive. You can click on them. And if you click on a piece, bear with us, it'll take a little time. Um, it'll bring the piece up and it'll give you all the information about the piece here on the left hand side. Um, it'll give you the artist statement, it'll tell you the artist's name, where they're from, 
and the name of the of the work. Is this the same uh, look as last year or is it somehow different? Um, it's the same platform, but our galleries have been rejigged by our in-house designer. Um, and so it looks like it's in a different gallery space. Uh, yeah. Normally we would use different spaces every year and we normally have a number of different spaces as well, to be fair. So we've got 11 galleries this year um and they have the same for all 11 this year have the same format but it's a different layout to last year beautiful should i share the themes i have them written down you the narratives the yes. yeah so from the overall theme um which was distance a bit like last year we kind of searched through all of the pieces and um, came up with some broad narratives under which we have curated. Um, and so our 11 narratives this year are realities, communication, time, self, society, bridging the gap, from A to B, opening up, from what? Curious face, no? Um, close, far and enforced. So we have 11 different galleries um, and in each gallery we've got somewhere between 35 and 45 artworks. Now the things that aren't in the galleries are our videos and um, moving artworks. Do you want to say anything else about our steps before we move on? No, the the, um, each of the galleries is laid out in the same format, in the same kind of structure. Mm -hmm. um, and Sarah's curated the artworks, as she said, based on the, on the various themes. Um, one thing that we haven't done um, is tell each of you which gallery your work is in. Um, this is something that we do on purpose. <laughs> we do it every year on purpose. <laughs> and normally we get bombarded with, with questions. Where's my work? I want to find my work. Good idea. But the, the reason that we don't tell you where your work is, is so you can go around and you can explore and you can see everybody else's work. And also you can um, get your friends and family to go and have a look and share the love for each other. Share the love. Share the love. Share the love. Share the love. Um, can you just go to our YouTube whilst I start to talk about it? So the limitation of Art Steps is that it will host videos, but only really, really short ones. And some of our videos this year are full-length feature films. We've got some 30 and 40 minute documentaries, as well as some shorter pieces. Um, some short films, we've got some video art, some animation, um, but really for videos, it's not that hot. So instead of um, giving our video artists a raw deal, we have got a YouTube channel. Um, it's just youtube.com slash Lacuna Festivals. Um, and you'll find exactly the same galleries in playlists there. So Shall we go back and share our screen size so that? Yeah, sure. Down here. You can tell I've been doing things online. I'm doing the directing here. Um, no, that's okay. And then green button. I'm new to Zoom. I don't Zoom. <laughs> yeah. You're Zooming now. <laughs> Hurrah. Okay. And hopefully now you should be able to see our YouTube page. So on here, um, we have those same 11 galleries listed as playlists, obviously, because it's on YouTube. And also at the top here, you can see that we've got an extra um, gallery here, which is our artist interviews. And this was, again, an artist suggestion to help us find out a little bit more about each other and our practice and the pieces in the galleries when we can't actually physically be in the space together talking to each other. So if there's something that really catches your attention, 
then you can find the artist talking a little bit about it in the artist interviews here. Um, I know that some are still coming in. We've had a couple in the past few days that aren't quite uploaded yet. Um, so we will be adding to that throughout the festival. So if you haven't had time to do that yet, it's not too late. You can still add something in there. So you can see down this side, we've got all of our different um, galleries. And we've also got, I wanna point out here, um, our, oh, that's even better, sorry, bang, let's go to the playlist tab. Um, we've got a special playlist for a project from a theater group. So these are all of our galleries. Oh, has it not gone live yet? Okay, so we're gonna put this one live in a little bit. Um, Pavalangi Theatre presents Ubu material. It's going to go live um, soon. This is 25 videos um, that was based on um, Ubu Roy by Alfred Jerry. You can see that here. Three actors and narrators isolated, exploring this piece. Um, and exploring it from a distance. It's a really, really great thing to watch. Is there anybody here from the theatre group now that would like to talk about that a little bit before we move on? <coughs> you can just give us a shout if there is. Okay, so um, so that's there. If, if you'd like to have a look at that, that'll launch later on tonight. And are we back in the room? Here we are, back in the room, room, back in the room. Oh, look, everyone's saying hello in the chat. That's lovely. We've got Germany, Manhattan. Can you name, can you tell me the name of the conveners or Lacuna festivals? Of us, is that what you mean? Who's that from? Annie from Aha. Hello, hello. Annie. Um, my name's Sarah Jane Mason. And I'm Simon, Simon Turner. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. <laughs> Just the two of us. Does that answer your question, Annie? Okay, okay. Yeah. Any other questions, feel free just to pop them in the chat or to give us a shout out. Um, and we will keep our eyes on that. Where else we've got Canada, Philippines, Poland, India. Scotland. Los Angeles, Argentina, Berlin, New York, Pakistan, Germany, Oxford chat. This is amazing. I Austria. can keep going, I can keep going. This is fab. Greece. Oh, I've just seen that Lucija is in the room. Lucija, can you unmute yourself for me? Are you feeling brave? Yeah, sure. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So, something arrived today. Oh, it did. <laughs> you know. <laughs> It came, it came. And we've also got Kay. Kay's in the room, I think. Yeah, Kay was here. I saw Kay. There's Kay. Kay, can you yes. unmute yourself Hi. for me? Hi, Hello. Kay. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you virtually. So Kay and Lucija are the artists responsible for Hi, our Lucija. fabulous Hi, Kay. Um, postcard project. Yes. Um, which which is amazing. We've received. I'm trying to think of the new total. I think it's 81. Yeah. Okay. So what, an 80, 81 postcards. Um, and because of our last minute um, announcement from the local council saying we could go ahead with a physical exhibition, they are all on display in Yaitza. And when we have our physical opening tomorrow, there'll be lots of people looking at those. Um, and we'll, we're going to put up a live stream and some pictures and stuff. Um, but we, I just really wanted to give a really big shout out because it's been such a popular project. So thank you so much for suggesting that, Lucija and Kay. Um, would Great. either of you like to say anything about it? Well, we're looking forward to seeing them. That would be great. Yes. And it's, it's lovely. Thank you for taking us on board that, to run with the, with the postcard thoughts. And um, it's lovely because usually when I'm in Lanzarote, I send, I paint postcards and send them home to family. So yeah. because of COVID, I thought it would be lovely to send a postcard to Lanzarote. Yeah. So it's kind of the reverse and really looking forward to seeing the exhibition. Yeah, when the, when the exhibition's finished, um, we have scanned in all the postcards, fronts and back, 
Um, we will have to continue scanning because postcards are still arriving. Um, but when they all arrive, um, what we're going to do, scan them all in and we're going to produce a book with them all in. Lovely. So that, that'll be, you'll be able to get your hands on the, on the book. Yeah. Um, first, it'll be one of my other hats. I have um, a little independent publishing company that publishes books by and for their audiences. So it started with books made by and for children. Um, and now lots of artist books are published um, on that too. So this will be a similar thing made by artists for artists. Um, and all of the postcards will be in there along with some hopefully that are made at our gallery space because we've got a little participation table at the gallery. COVID secure of course, lots of antibacterial wipes and hand gel, but hopefully there'll be some from our audience as well that we can put in there which would be really lovely. Great. Um, I'm just we'll glad to see you keepsake. Sorry Kay, what was that? It'll be a lovely keepsake, the book. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Some beautiful postcards will come through as well. Yeah, thank you for everyone who's put in so much time and effort. We've got hand prints, we've got collages, oil paintings, um, we've got all sorts of stuff and it's, yeah, it's, yeah, lots of care has been taken over it. And our post lady has been loving them. Yeah, our post, <laughs> and now our post lady loves us. <laughs> She's really enjoying them. I would just like to add that I really wasn't sure that my postcard will arrive, but not due to the post uh, situation, but because in Slovenia we have this such a political turmoil at the moment, and my postcard is very politically, politically controversial, <laughs> that I was afraid it was going to you know, be dropped in a bin or something. <laughs> it depends on if you love the prime minister or, or not. And, <laughs> there can be quite a lot of things and I'm very happy and excited that it actually arrived because I was doubting it a lot. Power to the people! <laughs> <laughs> Should we just do a little bit of a close-up so that everyone can see? Politically controversial postcards, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's making fun of our Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Uh -oh. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lucija. Thank you, Kay. Um, next, I think that we should, I'm just going to tick off on our ticking list. Along. I'm ticking because I don't want to forget anybody. Um, next, I think, um, Catherine, Chliara, hi, I can see you, hi. <laughs> um, would you like to talk about your project first or would you like me to show your little video clip first? Unmute yourself. You need to unmute. <laughs> You're on mute. <laughs> You can share it first if you want, so that I can explain later. Maybe okay. so that we're going to have a video first. Okay. Brilliant. You okay, so I will go back to my sharing. Mm -hmm. I've got a playlist and everything. Here we go. Hold on, we're not on full screen. This is rubbish. Let's make it full screen. Here we go. Try again. Okay, I, I can start first if you want. I'm not seeing oh. anything, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, I was playing it. That's why we weren't oh, seeing no, anything. I'm, not, I'm just seeing um, the links to it, but no, no, no film. Oh. Where's the start button? There is another screen you, uh, you must share when it opens the video. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let. Let's try again. Sorry, technological issues of being um, on the computer. I can't even say that I've not used Zoom a lot because I've spent pretty much the past year teaching on Zoom and um, yeah, running projects and things on Zoom. So I don't even have an excuse. 
I just always forget that I need to do that sharing the second screen thing. But now I have it up. Here we go. Share this. Can you see it? I can see it. Yes! yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's play um, this short video from Catherine first, and then we'll hear about the project. That was it. Okay, Catherine, take it away. Yeah. Um, so uh, for our project, I was uh, preparing a duet um, concerning sexual harassment. And we are not using music. We're using uh, women talking about why they didn't confess, they didn't ever say about their sexual harassment. So. Um, we thought with Sarah Jane and Simon that we could do something all together about this. So we created this short video to show you what I would like you to do if you have time. Um, we, we, uh, on this video, we didn't use audio. It was just to show you what I was thinking about. Um, so I have the duet. I have the, uh, talking um, around anyway and in the in the end I want you if you have time if you feel creative I want you to do the same thing with some of your thoughts you can um, share about um, how women feel no sorry a uh, mistake not just women we are all human humans who unfortunately can be victims of sexual harassment. So I want you to share your thoughts on anything, on uh, how to be brave or um, how we feel maybe, or um, maybe a quote that you like or something that, anything that comes in your mind and um, helps you uh, go through or just share it with us. I need you uh, to send me or Sarah Jane Simon a uh, two or three seconds video, as long as I need to read it, I mean, and I will uh, montage it inside the duet. So it will be a whole experience of everyone in there. Uh, if you have any questions, yes, please tell me, of course. Any questions for Catherine? Okay, I'm going to take the spotlight off you. Thank you so much, Catherine. Um, and if you want... The project on the events page. It's on the events page. If you look for this little poster, it's on the events page, it's on our Instagram, it's on Facebook, um, and all the details for that project are um, just underneath the email addresses and the details of what Catherine's just talked about. So you can go over that then. Thanks very much, Catherine. Can I, can I say something? Uh, last thing. I'm sorry. A <laughs> uh, last thing. I wanted to say, if you want to do this, please, by Wednesday, please, please, please. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I think that the reason that you're saying that, Catherine, is because you need some time to put it all together before yeah, the yeah, yeah. premiere of this, which is going to be part of the festivals. Yes. Yeah. So if you can find some time before Wednesday, please do that um, and support Catherine's project. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Um, okay, let me 
Here we go, back onto gallery view we go. Um, so next, let's have a look and see who we've got next. Oh, next it's me talking about something, just Yay. for a change. So I've just confirmed something really exciting. This is the first that anybody has heard of it. So it's not been on social media. It's just been confirmed between me and the creative in question, who for the moment would like to remain anonymous. Ooh, Ooh, mysterious, mysterious. But this anonymous creative is going to do us a pirate radio show, especially for the festival. So I'm really, really excited about that. It's going to go live on the events calendar so that you'll be able to see when that's happening. It's going to be towards the end of the month. I think it's going to be the 29th or 30th of July. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, and the big reveal of who it is and where they're based yeah yeah so um big shout out thank you very much for offering that for the festivals we really appreciate that i'm really pleased that we got to shout about it tonight as well whilst everybody is here um and now do you want to talk a little bit about another special thing that we have this year yeah this year we have um two augmented reality pieces um which has kind of bridged the uh, bridge the format. So as we said before, last year we were 100% virtual um, and this year we have a blended approach with our, with, <laughs> with our short notice Yaitha exhibition. Um, but we have two pieces, um, one from Arash and the other one is from Adina. Um, now these pieces, the, the physical works are up in the gallery in Yaitha. Um, just bear with us, I will get Sarah to show you the screen. Here we go, hopefully you can see Can that you all image. see this? Anyone? I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> Thank you. Ramana can see everything. <laughs> so in the background, you can see three of the five pieces um, of Adina's piece of work. And with this, the virtual reality that she's, that she's set up, um, these birds are actually floating in the sky. Um, and you can click on each of these, each of these silver birds and you can read the message uh, you can zoom in and they, they are all around in the gallery. Um, and we're really excited to have this. Yeah, we're really excited because when you're in the gallery space, these pieces are not there. And then you do your little downloading of the app or your QR code. And then all of a sudden there's this kind of magical world um, opens up in front of you and also don't worry if you can't make it to our physical space because these have been set up so that you can actually access them using the app from anywhere as well yeah. and we're going to share those on our um, website so you'll be able to have a look and um, Arash's piece is um, similar we haven't got any pictures of Arash's piece yet um, we only managed to get that live today um, and set up in the actual, in the gallery. Um, but there's a lovely outdoor courtyard um, and you're going to be able to, to view Arash's piece in the courtyard. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's all right. That's great. <laughs> um, so we'll put those onto our website and actually I'm gonna talk a little bit about the website now. Um, when you go to oh, all this switching between screens and then sharing it, let me check I'm on the right one before I hit share. Um, here we go. Romana, can you see it? <laughs> I have to put it too loud. Yes, I can see it. Fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. I have, so I have to switch my, my microphone on. That's the right word. <laughs> I can see it, yep. <laughs> Thank you. So when you go to our website, you can see across the top all of the different tabs. Um, our event schedule that we keep talking about is under event and it's in chronological order. 
So when it comes up, because we're um, also on Zoom and our internet is horrific, it will take a little bit of time to come up. Um, it will hopefully be quicker for you. So all of our events are listed in chronological order. Here we are at our digital inauguration. Um, and now all of these links are live. So before they weren't, now they are. Um, and I'm going to use this nicely just bridging <laughs> in to talk about our Sansa virtual gallery experience. Um, I don't know if Brittany's made it tonight. She said she was going to try. Brittany, are you here at all? No, no, Brittany. Okay. Um, do you want me to talk about Sansa? Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. So Sansa is a platform that I know nothing about. Do you know anything about that? Don't. No. And we had not one, not two, but three artists suggest that we could maybe gamify or virtual in kind of a Sims way, create um, some of the pieces for the festival, which just blew our minds. And we have no idea how to do this. And so we emailed these artists and said, maybe, you know, do you want to have a world? Do you want to give it a go? And Brittany has created uh, a Sansa virtual gallery experience um, with five pieces, including one of her own. Um, and it's like, it's like you're in the space walking around. You've got a little avatar that walks around with you. And the gallery space itself is quite unusual. So rather than just creating a traditional gallery space online, this is something totally different. It has to be seen to kind of be appreciated. Um, thank you to the contributing artists. We have Stephanie, we have Brittany, we have Benna, we have, ooh, our Peace Walks. Oh, Georgios, there we go. I try and remember everyone's names, but it is difficult with 328 um, of them to remember. So thank you to all our contributing artists, but a special thanks to Brittany because um, it's such a lot of work and she's put in so much effort and so much time to this. So thank you so much. Um, you can see here that it's got limited times and dates. Um, so you have to make sure that you can go on one of these slots to experience that. Um, and you just get to it by clicking on this link. On the days, um, we'll be sharing a specific link that will take you directly there so you don't have to search for the Lacuna Festivals as well. As with all our events, um, Brittany has done this um, through the goodness of her heart and it is free to free to enter free to wander around the gallery and we're really looking forward to it I'm, I'm so excited you've not seen it finish yet have no. you <laughs> oh, I have I have <laughs> it's um, yeah it really is quite great and it is this is kind of um the key it's like the spirit of the festival actually the spirit of the festival is all about um artists sharing things for other artists um, and just for, for the sheer joy of making art and sharing it and kind of validating having a creative lifestyle. Um, and it's one of the questions, we have a whole host of questions that we've been either emailed or asked um, by a messenger or in our application forms about why we do, why we do it. It must be so much work, it must take so much time, you must be really tired. Um, why do we, why do we do it? Um, the reason that we do it is, is because we feel passionately about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so to have other people like Brittany on board, that's, that's great. I'm just going to keep scrolling down so you can just see um, how many of these different events there are. I'm going to stop at this one, um, Worlds of Art by Channing Gray and Rekka. Um, Rekka, are you here? I think you were going to try and come tonight. I'm making a fool of myself here, aren't I? <laughs> um, there's a Facebook, there's a Facebook group for this that Rec has set up. This is happening um, in just two days. Um, so anyway, all of the events you can see, lots of different, lots of different events happening. Um, so have a look there. Uh, on Take Part, we've got all of our participation projects, and there's lots still going off there. We're actually going to be launching a new one, um, a drawing-based one this week so keep your eyes peeled there but i wanted to draw your attention to this button here our 2021 festivals now if i click on it now it'll come up with what you have seen before hopefully um because i have not um updated and published our launch but next time you go to this page 
Um, it'll be the same at the top. But then here, instead of just having a big date banner and um, the theme, we will also have um, the art steps galleries will be embedded here. They are a little bit slow to load. So if you're accessing them this way, just be aware of that. Um, and we'll have links to all of the Flickr and YouTube galleries as well. Um, Simon, this leads on very nicely to the project that you uh, didn't come up with, but that you realize. Do you want to just talk a little bit about our artist map before I stop sharing the screen? Yeah, sure. Um... Again, this was something that was suggested by one of the artists. Um, in fact, it was suggested by a couple of artists this year um, so that we could see where, where everyone was from. And there's been that many artists that we've only been able to put a tag on each country that artists have participated in. Um, the, the Google Maps wouldn't let us put a dot for every single artist um, and it's kind of blown our minds actually this year to see the just the scope of of how far the festivals are reaching we're so excited that we've got people coming from pretty much every continent i think mm -hmm. we've got this year yeah yeah we do and um you can see that you can zoom in so that when there's kind of lots and lots of, of tags next to each other, um, you can zoom in and see exactly where they're from. So that's just a little bit about our um, website. Um, I feel like we're giving you loads of information and we're not giving you guys any opportunity to ask questions. Let's check our chat. Oh, look at, oh, thank you. This is so lovely. Thanks, Heidi. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> That's lovely. Um, Annie knows Rekka. Oh no, that's an interesting one. Annie, yeah. unmute yourself. How do you know Rekka? You're muted, Annie. Yeah, I know Rekka. We did a residency together in Slovakia and oh. also um, I participated in some work she did in Bristol. Awesome. So, yeah. Rekka, Rekka's one of our returning artists. She was oh, um, right. she actually yeah, came I'll to Lanzarote for the first festival. She, she oh, was right, brilliant. Yeah. I'll contact her on Facebook and say hello. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. That's really lovely. Thanks for sharing that, Annie. That's great. Who is the name of the artist who did the AR piece with the birds? Adina. Um, and I'll have to just do a little bit of a search for Adina's surname because we've been chatting on WhatsApp. And so in my head, she's just Adina, you know, um, but I will find her surname for you now. Adina Selaskovic, I will um, put that in the chat if you're wanting to um, search that. Um, Selaskovic, there we go. That who did the birds piece. Um, anybody want to ask any questions at this point? Have we got any hands up? Have we got... How many people have we got? We've got 48 people viewing this evening. Yeah, that's great to have that many people live when it's so many different times around the world. There was somebody that I thought I spotted before and now I can't find. An antidote. Are you still here? Oh, hello, Anne. Hi. 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 I'm sorry to put you on the spot. This, everybody else who's spoken so far has known that they're going to speak. But for Anne, <laughs> this is a total surprise. Um, and the reason that I am surprising you, Anne, is because I wanted to share with you how much of an impact your letter had to us this year. So you wrote a letter that you sent with your postcard. Can you remember anything yes. about the letter that you wrote? Yeah, I, I was basically saying how important this type of festival is for me because I come from a DIY, self-learned 
non-hierarchical uh, type of thing. And um, I see that your festival is removing a lot of limits that have been appearing in the arts, you know, they've always been there. And um, I think you're basically going to back to what matters. Like doing it self-organized and giving a voices voices to everybody or almost everybody that just fits the team basically. Thank you. And thank you for sharing that without any warning. I wanted to <laughs> let I wanted this to be shared because I wanted to surprise you with um that we look we it made us so happy when when we read that letter. We were like, oh what we're doing, people understand, it makes sense, this is great. And so your letter is in the most ridiculous gilded gold frame and <laughs> in our gallery in Yaitza. And I just wanted to share that with you when I saw that you um, popped up on the video feed because we really, really appreciated your words. So thank you so much for sending that thank to us. Thank you for doing it. Thank that's, you. That's one of the that's one of the things that we try and do with the festival is to to kind of turn things on the head hmm. um, a lot of I'm, I'm sure you all you all know that a lot of a lot of galleries a lot of exhibitions charge you a submission fee charge you an exhibition fee and like charge the artist everything. Then they, they charge you commission when they sell your work. Um, Getting angry just him to say it all. <laughs> I'm pulling my scowly face. And that's that's something that that we fought against from from day one. Mm. Um, and it's kind of yeah it was it was just so nice to to read that letter from from Anne. And here it is, just in case you're in any doubt about how ridiculous and gold this frame is. Look at that! Woo! That's very nice. <laughs> thank you very much. No, thank you, thank you. And sorry if I embarrassed you in any way nope, by spotlighting. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, um, um. We've got a video to share next. Ooh. Let's see if I can open it up. Um, so it's from Aurora, who I think is here. Aurora, are you still here? You were here at the start. Like flicking through about 30 pages. I know, I'm flicking through screens uh, trying to find. Oh no. Gosh, yes, I think that I might, we might have talked for too long. So Aurora um, is just going to share a little bit about her door-to-door -door project, um, which you might have seen on Facebook. If you've not seen it, you can access it through our um, Facebook page. It's got a dedicated group. Um, and I'm not going to talk about the project because as soon as this little pop-up screen is open, I will be able to share um, Aurora talking about it. And here it is. So, oh, I need to not make it full screen before I share the Zoom. That's not going to work, is it? Okay, so a little video um, from Aurora about the Door to Door project on Facebook. Let's now make it full screen. Hey, hey we're cooking on gas. I cannot hear nothing. I'm just pausing because perhaps we have a trouble with sound. Can you hear the sound? No. 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 Let me go to my options. Oh, there's a way to do this. I know that is, and I can't remember. Um, <laughs> when, when you try to sh share screen, you're given some options. At the bottom left, there is an option to use sound. Okay. Does that help? You've got to go, you've got to come out of this and start again. 
Okay, so let's stop and start again. Thank you. Um, was that Ida? I no, know. Yeah, Anna. <laughs> So um, thank you for your um, artworks. We received those today by email. Two options for the connect um, and collaborate. Okay. This is it. This is it. Computer audio. Share sound. Okay. So now we're sharing sound. Now we're on it. Okay. Okay. We try again. Thank you so much for that, for that help. Hi, I'm Aurora Pagano, a Toronto artist, painter and illustrator. And I'm the curator for the Door to Door Distance 21 project, which is an interactive global online exhibit. The project was made possible with the help of Simon, who set up a Facebook page as the main platform uh, to link up with the Lacuna Distance 21 Festival. The premise of the project began with a call for photo submissions that captures interesting pieces and portions of architecture, providing intriguing glimpses of unique places from around the globe. The collection of images provides viewers with an intimate journey of form, structure, design, textures, details and markings from across global distances from door to door. The response has been very good and continues to grow. Postings have come in from Budapest, Chile, Turkey, Germany, Italy, Greece, Canada, the UK, US, Croatia, South Africa, Morocco, Spain, and so many other countries. The images may continue to be uploaded until June 31st, and the entire collection will continue on display through to August 1st. So please feel free to contribute images yourselves or share this with your contacts. This is open to anyone with a camera who has a great eye for detail and who's willing to share a fragment from their unique neighborhood. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Aurora. So that's um, a little bit about the Door to Door project. So that's going on, like you said, until the end of this month. So if you have not contributed yet, if you're not part of it, just good to have a nose. It's like traveling without traveling, which in these times is kind <laughs> of, you know, it's my life force. <laughs> I need it. I need it. Um, where to next? Where to next? So next is um, a little bit of talking. Can you post a link for that submission here? Yeah. Can you do that? And I will explain about the distance stickers. Uh, yes. Okay. So um, Simon's going to post that, Odessa, in the, uh, not Odessa, sorry, Catalina, um, so that you can go straight to it. Um, and I'm going to talk about um, Jetan Muha's project, who's part of the Baum Art Collective. And this is actually quite amazing. So we're part of um, an email, uh, like a round robin, I guess, that gets sent around about all sorts of um, grassroots, artist-led, participatory projects. And in the last one, what popped up at the top? Distance. And I was like, did you share that? And Simon said, no. Did you share that? <laughs> and so we clicked on and um, Jetson, who's part of a collective with his partner, so there's two of them in the Bound Collective, they have set up a project trying to connect people around the world um, through the pandemic. So using the distance stickers, you know, those little markers that are like, you have to stay two meters apart, one and a half meters apart. So um, there's certain styles for certain countries and uh, Jetson is making a collection of these he's got a website um, and then once he's collated everything he's going to do something he's not sure what yet he's going to kind of be led by um, the submissions and officially his submissions ended on the 30th of June but then when we contacted him and spoke to him about how we were you know directing this festival and it's called distance and this is crazy and we just saw you and maybe we should do something and he was like yes definitely we should do something so we had a little Skype and um so 
the, the summary is that Jetton would like your images and he's going to include Lacuna Festival's images as part of that. Um, it's on our Instagram page. Um, could you just find the um, poster whilst I continue? Um, and it's really simple submission process. You literally just, any snaps that you have of anything like that, just send it to Jetton. He uploads it onto the website um, and then he's gonna keep everybody updated. And um, the only thing that he wanted everyone to be aware of was that if you do contribute, you need to tell him if it's okay for him to say that you are a contributing artist or if you would like your image to be anonymous. He thinks that that's really important. Um, so if you find that image that Simon just shared with you on Instagram or Facebook or on our Take Part tab on the website, um, then you can take part with that. And that's going to run for about two weeks and then he'll start collating things um, and we'll keep everybody posted about that. I'm sorry, I just have to say, Corlina Boback, I've just seen you um, pop up on my screen. You have the most beautiful handwriting. Paulina has sent us a <laughs> postcard and it has the best hand, like honestly, I'm so jealous. My writing, well, I can just share with you just a little bit of my writing. You can't read anything. It's terrible. So yeah, thank you for that, Pauline. So what else have we got? Yeah, we briefly touched on um, merchandise at the beginning. Um, as we said, people asked for it last year and it was something that we weren't keen on doing um, purely because of the, the kind of process that we like to, like to go with. Um, yeah, for us, art isn't about money. Um, it's about sharing. And although we, we run these festivals for free, um, and we, <laughs> we don't get paid anything for doing these festivals. It takes up a, a huge amount of our time um, on top of our on top of our day jobs. Um, and because the festivals are getting so big, um, I'll let Sarah explain kind of where the festival started from in a bit. Um, but because the festivals are getting so big now. Um, we're having to we're having to purchase additional online storage space. Um, we're having to pay for pro accounts. Yeah, pros. We're pros. <laughs> Just small things like that that we're we're having to fund um, printing costs, things like that. Um, and so, because some artists suggested it again and said that they want they wanted some form of merchandise. Um, we came up with just a couple of different, a couple of different designs, just a couple of t-shirts um, and a mug. Who, who was drinking? Eva. Eva has the mug. <laughs> there it is. Eva's got the mug. Um, I have my t-shirt on. Turn around, turn around. The back of Simon's t-shirt is the best. No, yes. more, more, lower. Okay, there we go. This is 328 artist names. <laughs> typed out like the matrix <laughs> yes it was uh that was quite a challenge to fit all your names and all your countries on the uh on the back of the t-shirt but we managed to squeeze them all on in uh, in a font size where it was still legible just <laughs> with a magnifying glass <laughs> but yeah so um we don't take any profit from the t-shirts any any of the money that comes through um go straight into the straight into the funding of the festivals and making sure that we can keep the festivals running. Um, and like I said, I'll let Sarah explain where the festivals came from because they kind of sprang up a couple of years ago. Yeah, they kind of sprang from nothing. Um, so apologies if you're a returning artist, because you've probably heard this story a couple of times now, particularly if you were here last year and the year before, it's now like the third time round. Um, the first festival was really, um, really the kind of brainchild, I guess, of um, Kenneth G. Hay. Big shout out to Ken, who can't be here tonight, but is, yeah, the inspiration behind all of this, really. Um, Ken runs a grassroots festival 
in rural southern France in a tiny, tiny little village in the middle of nowhere um, in what used to be the old post office um, and has run, well, did, he's now stopped, um, but he ran a festival there for 10 years. And it was very similar to this one in that it was kind of word of mouth and free to join in. And um, yeah, pre-COVID, of course, it was all okay for people to kind of, everybody kind of descended on this little tiny village called La Rock and we all kind of hung around and shared stuff. Um, and when we moved here, Ken said, well, you know, like La Rock Arts Festival, Lanzarote Art Festival, that's like, that's the same, like, laugh. So I think you should do an art festival. And we were just kind of like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then, and then we did, and then it kind of happened. So we was we were expecting like maybe 20 people or something to start with. Um, and even the first year kind of blew us away. But now each year we seem to be, the word is spreading. Yeah. Um, so we had a hundred more artists last year and then a hundred more this year. And um, so it's getting kind of a bit, a bit crazy really. Yeah. I mean, it's fab. And yeah. the, the first, the first year that we ran the festival, um, as we said, we, we weren't expecting anything on the scale of, <laughs> of what we actually received. We were expecting 20 or 30 artists. Um, and we were just inundated with people. Um, and we had loads of artists who actually got in touch and said, we've sent our work and we're on our way. <laughs> and like people came to the island. And that's one of the things that we were looking forward to in future years is getting getting artists together because that's that's mm -hmm. one of the main goals of the festival itself um is to get artists to link to build a community amongst artists and um, and yeah it kind of just expanded one of my favorite memories of our <laughs> of our first year is um an artist who's returning this year um, she, she was here last year as well, wasn't she, Olga? Mm -hmm. um, and Olga said, sent me an email and she said, I can't post my work, but I'll bring my work to the festival. I'm coming to Lanzarote and I'll give it you when we get to the airport. So she phoned me up and said, we've just landed. Do you want to come and pick up the work? And I was like, yeah, sure. Drove down to the, uh, drove down to the airport. And I said, fabulous. Thank you for your artwork. Where are you staying? I'll give you a lift to to your hotel or to your, your Airbnb, wherever you're staying. And she went, oh no, we're not staying anywhere. We've just brought a hammock. And they came and they stayed for three weeks, was it? Mm -hmm. They stayed for three weeks and they just came, her and her boyfriend just came with a hammock. And they came to all the events, took part in all the, all the projects that we ran and slept in a hammock. But then also one of our one of our print artists um, actually offered them some space, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. One of the um, local artists, Elizabeth Kirschbaum, who is not here tonight, um, but she's a printmaker on the island, and she ran a Mokuanga printmaking workshop, and they stopped there. And yeah, it was really lovely. She gave them tours of the island. She gave them tours of the island. Yeah, it was fab. It was fab. So I feel like we've been talking forever and ever and ever. I hope that we've not bored you. I hope you found it useful. Um, but also I'd like to give you an opportunity. Oh, Rosanna's here. Hi, Rosanna. <laughs> we remember you. Hello, lovely. Nice to see you. Um, uh, yeah, we'd love to give you a chance to, to chat and to ask questions or just share stuff, say stuff. Um, there are quite a lot of us here. So if you would like to um, say something, if you either write something in the chat or put up your little hand, I mean, you can actually use your hand or you can use the little hand. What do you call that? Emoji. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, and now I bet everyone's going to be shy and we're just going to look like full on chatterboxes. Oh, here we go. We have somebody. I'm going to Hello. Hi. 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 Let me spotlight you so that everyone can see you talking. Okay, Hi. here we go. Hi. Hi. My my English is not so good, but uh, I hope you can all understand like basics. 
I wonder, I know I'm from Serbia, so not that far away, but away. And I wonder uh, if there is a way to come to Ireland and work on anything right now. How is the situation with, with you guys there? Is it possible to fa find work on a farm or anything similar? Um, at the moment, work on the island is exceptionally scarce. It's really um, difficult. The, the island here, we run on, I think it's 80%. Um, I think it's 80% 80, 80 or 83% of the, of the employment on the island is tourism. Mm -hmm. and so the, the island has been absolutely decimated with, with COVID. Um, no. But one of the things that, that kind of got us to the island is work away. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, don't know if you've, if you've heard of work away. Yes, uh, yes, I do. So we, there's quite a few places on the island that offer, offer work away projects. Um, we can send you a link um, to a place that we know. I don't know if they're actually doing any work away at the moment, um, but that was something that, that got us to the island and we spent our first year here. That's cool. I tried to make a count on Workaway and the other side that's called Wolf or something similar, but I couldn't get inside. I don't know why. And I also paid uh, participation for having account. They didn't let me. No. And without account, I can't apply for anything. So yeah. it's good to meet you guys. Yeah, you too. You could try um, Diggers and Dreams. That's kind of a similar thing, but it's based in... Um, I think it might actually be based in mainland Spain. That might not be a fact. I might just be <laughs> thinking that. But I know that they have a lot of um, Spanish um, placements. And it's a similar thing where you go and you stay and you get your accommodation, your food. You have to give a certain amount of volunteer hours. Um, one of our friends in Andalusia is doing it. Um, so that, that could be a possibility. Yes, and like nice. Simon said, that was how we made it to the island. Our first year here, we did work away for the whole year until we found a place of our own. Um, and we had a really great experience, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but also, like, our, our long-term goal um, here on the island, we're not sure whether it's going to be Lanzarote or whether it's going to be one of the other Canary Islands. Um, but our long-term goal is to be able to set up residential art space so it's going to have um, an art studio, a communal art studio um, that is going to be open 24 seven for artists to come and create their work. Um, and, then with some, some and then with some basic accommodation um, so that artists can, can come. And one, one of the things that Sarah instigated this. This was something that, that <laughs> something that Sarah um, encountered during her during her educational years. Um, but allowing artists to come to work in a in a residential art space with nothing in return you don't have to put on an exhibition you don't have to put on workshops you can just come and focus on your own artwork um and that's that's our long-term goal um, it would have happened if it hadn't been for covid <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let sarah explain where where that that goal came from well i'm actually i'm i'm not going to i'm not going to go on ages about it but just to say that the inspiration behind it was a cypriot artist called stas paraskos that is an amazing space in cyprus that is called the cyprus college of art it's not a college it's a space that you can go to um, very very cheaply and make artwork and it has had the biggest impact on me and um, hundreds of other artists a whole community of artists Alan. Based Alan's, around the space, Alan, who's part of the yeah, festival, Ian, Alan, here this Alan, Ian, Ken, Joseph, uh, Martin's loads of people who are kind of part of um, that community. 
Um, and so um, that was where it came from. But I encourage you to have a look at that yeah. on their website. Um, and then you can, yeah, we'll yeah, put we'll, it in the link for you. We'll and then you can find out a bit more about that. But that's an awesome place to go yeah. in Cyprus College of Art. Um, we had another question. I've just lost it because people are chatting and saying hello and goodbye. Um, 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 something about events. Who was asking about the events? Oh, that was Ali? me. That was me. Oh, it's hi, Heidi. Heidi. Hi, also AHA Collective. Um, yeah, I just noticed that on, a, on our Google Calendar, there was some events that I didn't see on the events page. Are, are you doing some live events as well that are not being streamed or um, like there was something, uh, live music with Sly? seven uh -huh. tomorrow is that you so um, yes. live music with sly so live music with sly is a bit of is a bit of a story because he's a local musician he was originally going to do um just a stream so that people could watch it then when we found out that we had the physical space in yaisa we were really excited we thought oh you can play live and we'll stream it so that's what that was that was what that was set up for but actually we've now been told that because of COVID regulations, he is in fact not allowed to sing there, even though it's outdoors, which is such a shame. So that's not going to happen um, on that date. But he has confirmed a date later on in the festival. So that, oh, I may not have put that on the events calendar yet, but it will be going on there. I think it's the yeah, 16th exactly. okay. of July. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so like the cabaret night, that's... Uh... That's a virtual event too. Yeah. Yeah, the cabaret yeah. event um, may or may not actually happen this year because, um, well, I don't know. Just because we've not launched it, because we've had so many other projects. Last year we right. did a digital cabaret, and it was everybody could send in a short video of up to five minutes, and then we compiled them into like a cabaret evening. We did like a bit of silly hosting in the middle, and it was just kind of quite a nice night. Um, but we've not even started it because we've had so many artist suggestions and artist-led projects. And that's kind of nice for the festivals to take that direction rather than us kind of directing it all the time. So we saved sure. a spot for that, but I'm not sure if we'll get to it or not, is the honest answer. So the okay, official event calendar- Okay, some things may not happen on the Google calendar, but the tr source of truth then is the festival events page, yeah? <laughs> the source of truth is the one that's on the website, yeah. The only okay. people that have access to the festival calendar are people who are running events. So that was just right. for us to do right. the okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, so okay. you're on the, right. you're in the, what's it called? Behind the scenes, that's what it is. It's the behind the scenes. Yeah. Okay, sorry, confusing. No, everybody. not at all. <laughs> not at all. Glad we cleared up the confusion. Let's just have a look through the chat. We've got a couple more messages coming through. Oh, yeah, let's make sure they're not questions. Um, when will Kuna Studios festivals have artists in residency program? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Good question. Well, why I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> We hope soon. We hope that by now we would have somewhere. But it's just been like totally impossible this past year to get anywhere and to try and make a commitment to a space that relies on people traveling to it to use it. Yeah. It's just really difficult. But here we're kind of coming out the other end of that now in terms of the actual virus figures being low and kind of inoculation rates being relatively high. So hopefully here, I mean, here it feels really safe. I know that not everyone is in that situation. Um, and my heart goes out to you if you're still in that kind of really scary place where you can't leave your house. I know some people here are still in that situation. Um, but we have been there and come through the other side to some extent. So, you know, maybe next year, yeah. Tentative, tentative, but I'd love to, I, I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to have it now, you know? Yeah. So. One, one of the other things that, the other hurdles that we've, we've had to encounter, um, being British and living in the EU, um, and now Britain not being in the EU, because our, our hope was that we could apply for EU funding to help kind of kickstart the Lacuna Studios to get that studio space to get an actual physical property 
um, and to start developing the property into into somewhere that we could use. Um, so we are. We're kind of in limbo a bit about that now. So we'd had quite a lot of, you know, full disclosure, transparency is everything. We, we'd been in conversation with the EU and it was all kind of looking good and then Brexit and now. So, um, yeah, so we're kind of a bit, a bit stuck, but hopefully, hopefully we're going to overcome that yep. somehow soon. And then you'll be here. <laughs> But you're always welcome to come visit. Yes, whenever. I'm always looking for excuses to, you know, <laughs> go somewhere and just make myself at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Um, we have another question from Catalina. How do we know if you received our postcard? Um, Catalina, you will know very soon because I have um, right here in my sketchbook. I have a little list of everybody's um postcards and the countries that they have been sent from and i'm going to pop that up um either on the web will i put that on the website or on the facebook and i can also uh, send it out to those artists yeah yeah um and on that list oh look at that so clever. <laughs> time's just been through the list yes catalina we have your postcard from the usa yes thank you yes. so much it's up in the gallery waiting for the launch tomorrow yeah I love, by the way, the postcard project has um, revealed some serious flaws in some of the postal services because we have we have <laughs> postcards from Australia, from New Zealand, from Argentina, from the USA, but um, some postcards from Spain haven't made it yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I'll make sure that that list goes live as soon as possible. Um, it's just been a little bit of a mad dash with the virtual and the physical things happening. Um, at once and um, anything else in the questions anything else in the questions um, let's have a look I think that's it I think that's it anybody else with a question just shout out hands up okay oh lovely okay I have I have nothing left. Um, do you have anything left? No, I don't think so. We've been through the whole list. <laughs> thank you all for thank you all for submitting. Um, thank you all for joining in. Thank you all for taking. You mean submitting artwork, not like submitting. Yeah. yeah. Just clarify. <laughs> yes. Thank you all. Um, it's so nice, and it's it's just absolutely overwhelming to have to have the response that we've had um, like we said the festivals have grown year on year um, and it started with such a such a small kind of conversation um, and just seeing all of the artists working together projects projects that we've got like we were saying the the collaborate and connect project seeing artists work with art forms that they've never worked with before. Um, and seeing artists join together. We had, last year we had um, a group of artists who all got together from around the world. You'd never met before, got together and formed a collective and... Sam's just reading a message. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rosanna. <laughs> um, yeah, the collective got together last year um, and have continued to work together. Mm -hmm. They're still working together now. Um, don't know if there's anybody here from Ari's collective. I'm just going to have a little scroll through the screen. I know that Ari couldn't be here. He's doing um, rehearsals. Uh, but hopefully Ari's actually coming here with um, Tinani Nani and they're going to put on a performance and we will be able to stream that for people. Um, which will be great. We're just trying yeah. to sort out venues. Again, COVID is making it a little bit um, difficult. But yeah, it's like Sam said, it's just, it's actually a real honour to be trusted with so many people's um, just, yeah, precious, precious things, you know, artworks, moments, memories, ideas. Like it's, yeah, it, it's an honour and we really love um, doing it. And we hope that you love doing it too. Look how eloquent I am after an hour <laughs> talking. 
<laughs> we're absolutely worn out. We've been, <laughs> the last the last two days we've been in the uh, in the Yaita Gallery, um, getting all the artworks together for for this exhibition that was kind of sprung on us at the at the very last minute. When we held the festival in the first year, um, straight away we we got the venues for our festival kind of by begging. We did. For the first year. We because we didn't expect many artworks to, to come and many artists to submit their work. Um, and we had one really small space and it very soon became apparent that we needed a lot more space to exhibit the work. Um, so we ran around and we and we begged and borrowed um, and got the exhibition spaces for the first year. And then we were like, okay, so if this is gonna happen next year, we need to go around and we need to book event space. So straight after the first festival, we went to book festival space for the for last year and we were told no everywhere's booked so we said okay well we'll book for 2021 now um and then everything everything turned around and everything cancelled on us and then just a few weeks ago we got a phone call first thing in the morning we were laying in bed we had hadn't even woken up the phone rang and uh it was the Yaitha exhibition space and they were like um are you ready for your exhibition are you coming <laughs> so we've been We've been running around like crazy trying to get this this physical inauguration so that we can we can continue to develop the the exhibitions on the island and we can get more of you over here and get to share your work. Yeah. yeah. Um, thank you for all your lovely comments, Sarah Misselbrook. I didn't see that you were here. I'm really sorry. Do you are you are you still here or have you now gone? Because at the end it says one and to... Oh, maybe Sarah's gone. We've just missed her. Sarah's oh. Sarah is part of um a group of three artists, Sarah and Ria and Alita, who are working together on a creative collaborative writing project. And they're gonna share that as a participation project a bit later in the in the festival. If I'd have seen her, I could have given her a yeah. shout out. Uh, thank you for all of your lovely comments. Thank you for coming and listening to us rabbit on for over an hour. Um, oh, thank you, Ebba. Thank you so much. We love you all so much. Um, and I think we should wrap up before we get all gushy. I feel it's already getting a bit gushy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, please continue to continue to enjoy the galleries. Share, go and explore the galleries yeah. now they're all live. Um, and share them with your friends, share them with your family, and uh, go hunt for your work. Your work is up there. Your work is yeah. there. And hopefully we'll see you at um, a festival event over the next month. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Stay safe. Good night. Bye. Bye.